What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel now Today we've got the 10 instances when cricket commentary got controversial The video done by Simbali Schumer Done by Simbali Schumer Shout out to them of course original links are always in the description Hey! Check it out! Let's go! For almost a century now cricket is always played with Alright who we got here? Is that Harsha Bugle? It's obviously um... Michael Vaughan um, yeah, that's it. With commentators, because initially commentary was the only way for a person to experience the match Facts. by listening to it on the radio. But even after live television came about, commentators are an integral part of the proceedings. But it is difficult to talk for so long and not blurt out something controversial, right? Yeah, <laughs> true. Today at Simri Chuma, we are taking a look at 10 instances when cricket commentary got controversial. Alrighty. Let's get started. Let's do it, Simbali Chuma. Shoy Bakhtar. Oh, no. This is a post-match analysis show and not the commentary. But still, after India beat Pakistan once again in a World Cup game, Show host Jatin Sapru couldn't suppress his laughter when he heard the Mocha Mocha key music, which they played. This made Shoya Bakhtar furious, who asked Sapru why he was laughing and said that he shouldn't be laughing at a team like that. Seriously, <laughs> I mean, like, you know, 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 you I know, like, all for Andrew humor, Strauss. but... Andrew Strauss. Andrew Strauss isn't... Just give your humor, not when a Pakistan legend is in the room. <laughs> ...fond of Kevin Peterson. I mean, seriously. While talking to a colleague You're during an ad break, while he was commenting, he described Peterson as a complete beep. Yes, he actually used the C word. He thought he was off air. Wait, wait, like what C word? He described Peterson as a complete beep. As a complete beep. This, do they mean the c word is in cunt? <laughs> I mean, I'm not. I'm not afraid to say it. That's <laughs> yes. He actually. Like at the end of the, the day, this is my YouTube channel, so I'll say whatever I want. C but <laughs> he thought he was off air, but that wasn't the case. And Strauss apologized to Peterson later. No, no, I would not apologize to Kevin Peterson. You are a, you're, K KP. You're a beep. <laughs> Damn. Nah, Rami's Raja. Bangladesh fans were really upset with Rami's for his commentary during a Bangladesh versus Afghanistan game as they felt Rami's was openly favoring the Afghans and mocking the Bangladesh players. A commentator should not be biased. That is a well-known fact. The fans even ran an online campaign demanding Rami's ouster from the commentary team. Seems a bit over the top. Nasser yeah. Hussain. In 2011, what during a T20 international match what between did India do? and England, Parthiv Patel dropped a catch. Nasser Hussain on live television said, India have three or four good... Yo, wait, was it a men's or a women's game? Nasser Hussain on... Between India and England, Parthiv Patel dropped a catch. Nasser Hussain on live television... Did he, did he say divert particle? Like the guy who plays for RCB? ...said, India have three or four good fielders and one or two donkeys still in the field. It drew sharp reactions in India, although Hussein felt that people should have taken it in good humor. We at Simri Chuma accept that it was told in a humorous way and we shouldn't take it seriously. But if anyone said this to the English players, especially himself, how would he have reacted? Hey, that's true. Damn! Simbali Tumor's coming out here with some savage comebacks. Shout out to Simbali Tumor. They're out here, you know, shout out to Simbali Tumor. She, oh, I know there's two of them that run the channel, I think, but obviously it's the woman. She's not holding back. She wants, she wants to get Nasir Hussein just 
you left right, good night. No, but talking about this comment, the world has become pretty soft. Like, you should be able to call, like, as long as you're not being abusive and being like, you donkey, you fucking donkey. Like, just be like, oh, you, you know, if you're having a joke with it and just be like, oh, couple of donkeys out there. Like, you got to catch that. Like, who cares? But if you're abusing someone, that's a different story, of course. Just curious. Just curious. Kerry O'Keefe on in. Okay, now, last pause of the video, but Kerry O'Keefe, um, he's old. As you can tell, he's about 322. So, at the end of the day, they were born in different generations. Kerry has said some very controversial things on commentary, but at the end of the day, he's a great person. He has a great heart. Um, and yeah, that's all I've got to say. Indian domestic circuit. This is a very recent story where a former Australian off spinner, Kerry O'Keefe, took a dig at the standard of first class cricket in India by saying that Mayank Agarwal must have scored his triple hundred against a team of canteen staff. While Kerry's fellow Australian commentators sitting in the box shared a good laugh, the Indian fans did not enjoy it one bit and Kerry had to cope with a lot of criticism on Twitter. Dean Jones 2006 Perhaps the most famous of these incidents, Dean Jones made a comment when Hashim Amla caught Kumar Sangakara of Sean Pollock. <laughs> Unfortunately for Jones, though there was an advertisement in Sri Lankan telecast, the South African got to hear Jones's words. The terrorist gets another wicket, is what he said. This was a cl hey, oh, whoa, clear that's reference too to far. Amla's beard. Jones was sacked by 10 sports with immediate effect. Sorry mate, I didn't mean for it to come out on air, was Jones' somewhat feeble apology to Amla. Yeah, you can't be saying that. Sanjay Manjrekar and Paula. Now that's when it's abuse. That's when, you know, we don't we don't like that sort of stuff. When it's, yeah, even if he meant it as a joke, that that's still not okay. Like you can't, you can't, just don't say that. Sanjay Manjrekar is so straightforward that sometimes his words offend the players a bit too much. However, this was an instance of a player completely misunderstanding Manjarekar rather than him having said something wrong. The West Indies all-rounder Kieran Pollard thought that Manjarekar said he did not have enough brains to bat up the order. <laughs> Pollard just came out and slammed Manjarekar on social media. But Manjarekar actually never said something like that on air. While he was criticised again, Manjarekar later clarified everything with Pollard. Okay, that's okay. Sanjay Manjarekar and Jadeja. Oh, for God's sake. Manjarekar, mate, you just have to stay out of it. <laughs> this is the most infamous incident of them all because it came up during the 2019 World Cup and the player who was in question proved it wrong. Oh, I remember this. Away. Sanjay Manjarekar, who has been a known voice on Indian television whenever cricket is on, yes, was not happy with Jadeja's overall performance as a white ball cricketer and he decided to call him a bits and pieces cricketer during a World Cup game. I remember that. While Jadeja expressed his unhappiness about Manjarekar's comment on social media, he performed wonderfully well with both the bat and the ball in the World Cup 2019 semi finals <laughs> against New Zealand. And Manjarekar had to take a lot of flack after that. Yeah. Again, Sanjay Manjarekar. Oh my God, Sanjay Manjarekar. <laughs> You're allowed to have your say, but just sometimes just. Just keep it to yourself. <laughs> this time with Harsha Bhogle. What, what cricketer? What bad word can you have to say about Harsha? Turned commentator Sanjay Manjarekar has been criticised for his on-air comments against Harsha Bhogle. After the pair's heated discussion about the visibility of the pink ball during the third day's play of the day and night test between India and Bangladesh, you can hear their conversation here. There will be at least three or four instances of batsmen getting hit on the helmet for innings. When there's a post-mortem done of this game, and there should be a post-mortem of this game, visibility of that ball will be a big factor against the white side screen. Don't think so. Because when you see the slip catches, the way they've taken catches, I don't think visibility is, is an issue at all. The texture of the ball is the issue. About what? Uh, definitely ask Batson on both sides, not just you the player who wasn't seeing the ball properly. Or Ajinkya Rane or Chiteshwar Pujar, and ask all of them. But just ask them, what do you think? Because if, if pink ball cricket is going to be a regular feature,
procedure, then you just want to be sure everything's working. You're watching from the outside whether the batsman is seeing the ball properly or not. The spat became huge, and it sounds like a normal combat. Like. You're, you're allowed to have a heated conversation, that's just good TV. After these two incidents, IPL decided not to include Sanjay in the 2020 edition of the game as a commentator. Really? Wow. Navjot Singh Sidhu. Sidhu's metaphors and colourful use of the English language have had their shares of praises and brickbats. But his words on air while commentating in 2003 were a bit too much for ESPN star to handle. Oh boy. When Alan Wilkins asked Sidhu to pronounce Worcestershire, Sidhu responded with the phrase, while still on air, Don't effing provoke me, Wilco. Sources differ on the exact words, but they all agree on the inclusion of the F word. Hey, but that's kind of true. Like, don't ask me to pronounce. Like, fuck off. Like, you know that he doesn't have clearly great English skills as everyone else. So you go to him live on talent. But that's not cool, mate. Sidhu's stint with ESPN Star ended shortly afterwards, though it was denied by both parties that the incident mentioned above was the reason. Hey, hey, if someone told me that, I'd tell them to fuck off as well. <laughs> like, as if. Like, like, yeah, like, that's just weird ads from. What was his name again? Um, Those metaphor Navjot Sidhu. Shout out to this guy, because I would have done the exact same thing that he did, okay? He just, you know, you don't, yeah. You don't come after someone like that on live television. Like, it's just, yeah. Don't fucking provoke him, all right? <laughs> but hey, that is gonna... What do I say? That is gonna cap it off, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, shout out to Symbolic Schumer. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one.